I'm Mark Rosebrand. I'm the director of the Environment and Production Technology Division at the International Food Policy Research Institute, or IFPRI, based here in Washington, D.C. I just uh, gave a seminar at the USAID Ag Sector Council session here in, in Washington, uh, and I spoke about our, our new report on food security in a world of natural resource scarcity, uh, the role of agricultural technologies. This report makes a number of contributions. I, th I think the big advancement we've made is that we've looked at the impact of a number of uh, specific techno agricultural technologies on uh, agriculture productivity growth uh, and on food security and world food prices. Uh, we, we look at a wide range of technologies, including uh, on-farm practices, such as integrated soil fertility management and no-till no agriculture, as well as more advanced technologies, such as precision agriculture. We also look at, at uh, uh, seed-based uh, uh, technologies, such as nitrogen use efficiency, drought tolerance, and heat tolerance. Uh, the result is at a very highly disaggregated level globally, but for all the countries in the world and also at subnational levels for each country so that we can hone down to specific regions in specific countries. Overall, the re results show uh, a wide range of technologies have, have positive impacts on crop yields and, and uh, on improvement in food security. We also looked at crop protection, whether it's done by integrated uh, uh, pest management or by the use of chemicals, and found that those that crop protection for diseases, weeds, and pests also has very positive uh, impacts over time. The results show also that there are particularly high impacts in, in many of the regions of, of Sub-Saharan Africa uh, for each of, each of these technologies, so great potential for adoption of those technologies uh, in those regions. To get the be best results, of course, we need broad-based uh, adoption across a range of technologies. No single technology is, is a silver bullet that's gonna, going to save the world. To implement them, of course, you also need to put policies in place uh, based, based on the results that we ha have here. Uh, it's going to be extremely important, of course, to target the kinds of breeding that, that's needed for, uh, for dr drought and heat tolerance uh, and for uh, nitrogen use efficiency in crops, uh, uh, that all of which uh, also have the benefit of dealing with uh, uh, climate change uh, impacts on agriculture. So they, help counterbalance the effects of climate change in addition to improving yields overall.